Thanks, Jack. Yeah, every week I'm going to be doing a fast lap around Red Star Raceway on a different motorcycle. And for the first ever fast lap, I've been given this bad boy, the Suzuki B-King. This is one of the most bonkers motorcycles out there. It's 180 brake horsepower, Hayabusa motor, in a naked frame. Kind of sounds like a recipe for madness. Should probably give it a bash, eh? Clinton is right. This is a bonkers motorcycle, and it not only feels that way to ride, but it looks pretty outrageous too. It's a physically big bike. The tank is massive, which accentuates the feeling of size, but the wide handlebars help it remain agile, despite the bulk. This second-hand model sourced from Kai and Kyle Army has got a set of beautiful Yoshimura silencers that both look and sound better than standard. Otherwise, this is basically a naked version of the Hayabusa with a slightly longer swing arm and lazier steering geometry. Braking is also top-notch, with a set of radial Nissan calipers biting on big 310mm discs. The clocks are stylish, with a central rev counter and digital readout for everything else. Overall, then, this is one of the most imposing naked bikes ever put into production, and it has the muscle to back up the brutal looks. Just look at those figures. Suzuki is claiming 181 horsepower and a monstrous 146 newton meters of torque. Right, time to get going. Oh, good launch from Clinton there. Look how quickly it races to the red line. Shorter gearing than the Hayabusa helps here. Hard on the brakes now. Bit of tyre squealing from the rear. Into a couple of tight right-handers that don't actually feel too bad on the B-King, surprisingly, thanks to that high handlebar position. Now flick it left and full power onto the short straight. Check the mirror falling back in the wind. Hard on the brakes again. This is where you really start to feel the weight. But... It's still looking stable as he throws it into this tight left-hander. Oh, yes, nice mirror adjustment from Clinton there at full lean angle. The Beaking obviously feeling stable in the turns too. Now, it's a right-left-right right combination, and the Beaking once again shrugs off its size and gives plenty of suspension feedback. This last right is a long one. Got to be careful feeding in all that power. Bit of a short shift there into third gear. Ooh, forks diving hard on the brakes now. And a tricky late apex right hander onto the main straight. Time to tuck in and give it full throttle all the way to the line. What will the stopwatch say?